Good morning, and welcome back to another episode of Opinions Think Peace on the Not Binary YouTube channel. In today's episode, I want to talk about a problem that should theoretically only affect less than 1% of the Ultra Kill player base, which is the Ultra Kill player base. I do want to preface this by saying that I don't really agree with the whole take where someone wants to play a game and enjoy it, but they actively avoid it because, oh no, the fan base, the fan base is so bad, I can't even. With- you don't need to go to Reddit or interact with the fan base whatsoever. You can just play the game and have fun. And this is why I'm saying that for 99% of the player base, this theoretically should not matter. But me as a streamer, I get the fan base forced upon me. If I stream the game on Twitch, I get it in my chat. If I post it on YouTube, I get it in my comments. Like, I really cannot escape it. It becomes a part of my experience whether I like it or not. And that's why I want to talk about it. Now, initially when I play the game, you know, I load in, I get a pistol, I play around with that for a bit, and then you get a shotgun. And at this point, I'm obviously assuming that every weapon has its own use case, right? For example, the shotgun excels at close range, the pistol excels at medium to long range or just precision shooting, and the minigun excels at shooting the walls behind your enemies. So I apply the weapons accordingly, and it kind of just works. You know, I'm going through the game, having a great time, uh, learning a new tech here and there, and just having a blast. Oh! <laughs> but then, something changed. Hey, what you got there? Oh, uh, I'm playing some so I wanted to grab a revolver. This thing is incredible. It's really precise. It's hit scan. It hits really hard. And most importantly, it feels like it hits really hard. Shooting this thing feels like you have a lightweight tank in your hand firing bomb shells at your enemies. And it was also presented as a reward for finding a bunch of different secrets throughout the previous levels. So it feels like you've earned this power. Needless to say, I, I fell in love with this gun immediately. And I kind of just naturally started using this gun a lot because as far as I could tell, this gun was just really really effective. And everything was going great. Until I reached Gabriel. Behold, the power of Gabriel is the final boss of the first act. And he's, you know, not like painstakingly difficult, but definitely a challenge at this point of the game. But that wasn't the problem. In fact, nothing within this game was the problem. The problem was the people who play this game. Now, I know, when you stream on Twitch, there's always going to be people who backs it with unsolicited advice or minor spoilers. There's gonna be people who are annoying. There's gonna be nerds. And you know, sure, it's annoying, but it's usually not the end of the world, right? But the people who play this game are special. Though they're very special. They're retarded even. And they will do anything they can to let you know that. Please use all the weapons. He's doing a challenge, but only using the revolver. Or he's just being a match. It's so boring, because I'll be done Imagine him well. pressing the secret in countries with only the one. <laughs> he wants every lock. Gabriel Mew present. Uh, he's using the one weapon that he's using the one weapon. At this point in the stream, I played the game for a total of three hours. And I have people in my chat genuinely upset with me that I'm not parrying the boss on my blind playthrough. Listen, I know you can do a lot of cool tech in the game, and the game doesn't always spell it out for you. You kind of have to discover it on your own. So how about this? Let people play the game. Do you have any idea how annoying it is to not be allowed to practice the boss? That the very second you die, a single time, you will have 20 people showing up in chat telling you that, no, actually, you're doing everything wrong because you didn't do the five times backflip ricochet yourself Gabriel's good for combo. But that's just the backseat, right? Every game has backseating. Granted, Ultra Kill has way more, but at the end of the day, it's just backseat. What made me cope and seed so hard that I actually got off my ass and made a video is the idea that there's a correct way of enjoying the game. Where apparently, the second you install Ultra Kill, you're contractually obliged to arbitrarily switch weapons at least once every two seconds. Otherwise, Hakita himself will actually telepathically remove any dopamine left in your head. Because clearly, there's no way you would ever enjoy playing this game unless you play exactly like that one guy on YouTube who uploads Ultra Kill gameplay every day until he gets a girlfriend. Basically, after my fight with Gabriel Ultra Kill, I became radicalized and indoctrinated into a slap revolver extremist. And at that point, I made a vow to spite Max the fuck out of my playthrough and never switch weapons unless it's strictly needed for a puzzle. And I don't regret a second of it. <laughs> Well done, Mr. Bino. Thank you. Kill Hyper. 